All right, what's up, guys? So back with another one here, another Blaze Blue beginner guy. I'm gonna teach you how to play today. Today is Kagura, but before we get started, real quick, we gotta give a shout out. Rest in peace, Keiji Fujiwara. This is Kagura's voice actor. If you didn't know, he passed away two years ago in 2020. A legend. You know, I knew him first from Grand Blue. I guess I first heard him in in, in Blaze Blue, but you know, I really got to know him in Grand Blue, uh, the mobile game. So rest in peace, buddy. This guy's for you. But yeah, what kind of character is Kagura? Big, slow. He's a bit tricky at first he's a bit tricky but he's not difficult if that makes sense right it's once you get used to his timing and his buttons and his combos it's not high execution but he's a bit weird he's got a lot to memorize too so i want to just break it down tell you what to pay attention to try to play this character and uh hopefully it'll help you out but like always you like this stuff you like blaze blue you like the guides hit the damn button all right so kagura real quick he's stance based character this is like the the intimidating part here is he's got three stances right neutral stance forward stance down stance and each of these can go into three different moves so he's a lot of moves to remember what i'm here to tell you about forget about him. don't worry about him. i'm gonna tell you you have to know two three uh, you gotta know just just a very limited one uh the main ones you want to use out of his stances are wyvern so this is a forward you see nice range right here not only that this goes through projectiles so if they shoot a projectile you go right through even if it's a super move and then the other one is the low right the low here combos in the deep field so in neutral spam those two to get in even on block, he can still go into his other drives, you know? So just, just get in, mash your drives, and then mix them up. So how do you mix up with this character? Here we go. The most important one is the overhead. So this is two stance, A, right? Good range, good damage. I'm going to teach you a combo. You have to learn this combo. It's not hard. Trust me, you can do it. Like this, right? Look at that. Almost 4,000 damage. That's a ton of damage in this game. Without active flow, off this overhead, anywhere, it works anywhere on, on stream. So learn that combo. The DP, do as early as you can, and the follow-up, do as late as you can. If you do that, you'll be able to get every time, like 4,000, really, really scary. So now they're looking to block the overhead. Now you can start mixing up left-right. So the other mix-up tools he has is this cross-up right here. If they start blocking the cross-up, you can just stay in front, right? It's really hard to tell the difference between these moves. The combo off this, again, very, very, very easy. You just mash his stances, right? And then end in DP, 3,000 damage right there. Very, very, very easy. So that's that's your mix-up. And if they really block, they look out for anything. The last mix-up tool, of course, command grab. Uh, a really easy combo off this. Well, what, what do you want to do? Slide, DP again, 3,000. So as you're seeing, like, anytime you mix up, anytime you land a hit with this character, it's a chunk of damage. And this is really, really basic stuff. This is just to get you started. If you like this character and you learn his optimal stuff, his damage is, he might be one of the highest damage characters in the game. So outside of his drives, you know, the drives are, are cool. Outside of the drives, he's kind of lacking. This is where the character struggles. He's really slow. Uh, his, his neutral mobility is, is not there and his buttons aren't great. Your key button out of everything, this one right here. You want to mash 2C. It's a low, full screen, and to a lesser extent, 5C right there but be careful because they're very 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 slow buttons but it's all he has right you do get a full combo so for example if you do 2c just slide in there into the uppercut remember that by the way remember slide in the uppercut that's a very useful just like combo ender if you can land like 5c a quick wyvern will combo like that but again i, I would say mostly focus on 2c 2c slide dp or if it's 2c slide block to go into the other uh drive mix-ups there and then outside of that, uh, how do you win neutral? You can't just mash this all day, right? You can't just mash this all day. Use his fireball. It's not amazing, it's not terrifying, but it's all he has, right? So a fireball will help you kind of get in close, right? If they block it, that's when you can start doing the drive mix-ups here. The hard part is a lot of people against Kagura are gonna do this, they're just gonna run away. So good luck, I'm sorry, there's no answer. There's a reason why this character is, is kind of low tier. You have to be very, very patient. It's a lot of cat and mouse, but the reward of if you do land that hit is, is very satisfying. So if you like that kind of character, give him a try. And now, last but not least, the most important thing about this character, I feel like every character say the same thing. The most important thing is DP. Yes, his DP. So he actually is a flash kick. If you don't know, his fireball is a, it's a charge motion and his, his flash kick is a charge motion as well. But because of that, you can get out a lot faster. It's a lot stronger on defense than other moves because you can react, right? It's very easy if you're holding down back to see them 
either come in for an air attack or something and just press up C. That's invincible. Or if they jump, use the B one. So this is uh, anti-air, okay? The B one for anti-air if they're in the air already. C one as a reversal if they are doing a block string or on wake up or something. And they get the follow-up ender right there. So yeah, that's it. You're gonna see me. I'm gonna be struggling in neutral. You know, I'm gonna be doing fireballs, struggling. But once I get in, once I start mixing them up, you're gonna just see me just crank out damage time and time again. And if I block, I'm not blocked. Count the DPs. Count the DPs in this video. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot. But yeah, let's go. Let me just show you in the match. Show you what I'm doing. Show how to mix up, and uh, I'm gonna win again. I know it. All right, so here we go. Going up against Makoto now. So again, Makoto like fast. Mobile in fighter, so she could have beat me in neutral, right? She's gonna be able to get in, so I'm gonna have to rely on my DP a lot to keep her out, and then I'm gonna start mixing her up. All right, th first thing we do, run away, run away. Ah, she's in there already overhead, but it's fine. Get off! That's one. See, after the DP, I'm gonna put out fireballs here. Hey, got the burst. DP again, let's go, fireball to get in, and now I charge. What the heck? They caught me jumping, I think. You guys say DP? Fine. That's why you save our meter, right? We save our meter to DP there. Projectile in bowl, like I said. What the? I messed up my charge, but DP again. But you see? How she tried zoning me out with a projectile because earlier we were having kind of like a projectile war. That time I said no. The good thing is even if you mess up his combos, it still does a lot of damage. A A. <laughs> Overhead. Overhead. People are terrified of Kagra, right? My advice if you're playing Kagra is you have to. Be very, very aggressive and very brave because people are scared of you. Like overhead, right? There we go. Look at that. 4,000 damage off the overhead. I'm doing it again. I'm not joking. That overhead is your go to. Left, right. Lock, but I'm fine. You see? Now I got meter for DP. I still have it. I still have it. I'm fine. I do more damage than you. I do more damage than you. <sighs> Get off me. I see you got. Oh, if I don't die here. Boom. Oh. He got double super, right? You're going to do one. Another super. Oh, that was nice. DP. I dare you. Damn. I was trying to ask him. That was cool. That was a cool little mix-up he did. That little Makoto mix-up was nice. He got me. Let's rob, boys. Ready? Cross up. Overhead. Ah, I did overhead. No, you mother. I was mashing EA. What happened? I'm war I was warm-up game. Warm-up game. Warm-up game. Now listen, so this guy blocked the cross up three times. I'm not gonna cross up anymore. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna stay in front. So a lot of people will assume the Kagura player always goes for cross up and they'll, they'll, they won't react, they'll just hold that way. I'm gonna go in front and see if it hits. I, I said I was gonna stay in front, right? There it is, it hit. See? Just like I predicted, right? He, he's guessing on, on the cross up, so I just stayed in front. All right, well, last one. Max point. Told you, boys, about... I warned you about that flash kick. You see how he's jumping? So jump... That's why kids do not play fighting games on Wi-Fi. I'm telling you right now. Do not play fighting games on Wi-Fi. That's my win. That's my dub. I take it. Next match. All right, so next up again, S. S is like... Because I'm an S player, I feel like S is just better Kagura. It's like her buttons are similar to Kagura's, just way better. She's got a really good projectile though, so I'm going to try and use my Wyvern to go through her projectile and get in there and we'll see. Alright, I'm in there. 
Time for overhead, boys. He's mashing. Okay, he likes mashing DP against Kagura? I don't know about that. That's the one thing against Kagura, though. This character does a lot of damage, so you have to be careful with your DPs. A lot of high-level Kagura matches are decided by him losing, 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 and then he baits one DP or has one nice read with, like, a 6C or something, and he murders you. He'll do, like, 60-70%. Wyvern. Damn it. I gotta remember to do... Oh, God. Woo! <laughs> there you go. That's a little that's a little taste of Kagura for you. That was all six six C, right? So his buttons, he's got really slow, heavy buttons that if they hit, you do a lot of damage. That combo I did was almost 5k. I freestyled it. It wasn't even close to optimal. I'm sure a good Kagura could have cranked out like 7k maybe. So again, like I'm saying, if you if you want to learn these advanced combos, and again, like I'm saying, they're not that hard. You can be like a threat. Where it's like, alright. I struggle, but if I land that one touch, I win. Time to overhead, though, boys. If I can get a hit, if I can get in there, we're overheading. We're mashing overhead. All right, good game. Overhead time. Too far? Yeah. And there it is again. Right? That's just DP, right? Just hold down back, block. When you see a pause, when you see the gap, mash DP. He's scared, see? You see how scared they get? Once you start DPing a lot, people just, they walk away. They're like, oh, okay. I, every time I do a block string, he flash kicks. So I'm just gonna back away. So you have to use your flash kick to put the fear of it in their heads, and then they'll, they'll back off a little bit. Because you don't want to be blocking this character. Alright, last match against Hazama. So Hazama's a zoner. He's a keep away zoner character. This is when, when Kagura struggles, right? This is where his struggle is. Is catching runaway, which sucks. Which I personally don't play. I don't like running, I don't like chasing people down all day. But if I have my overhead, <laughs> I think I'll be alright. If I can do 40% overhead combos all day, not invincible anymore, bro. We caught him. We caught him. Uh-oh. We'll take it. We got his burst. We got his burst. That's all that matters. Because now I can, now next is going to hurt. Man, grab. Oh, he jumped. My man jumping all day. Oh, I think it's my favorite super in the game, by the way. As an aside. Hey! Had under meter. If he blocked it, I was going to RC it. Respect me. He's just sitting there menacingly. Nope. You see that? Once you DP a lot, if you just sit there holding down back, that's already just like... People are like, wait a minute, hold on. He's gonna DP, let me get out of here, hold on. You have, you have to use it, I'm telling you. And my other big advice... What's going on today, huh? Is it, the Kagura is just too strong. I think the Kagura is just too powerful for these kids. Alright, let's get out of here. They can't handle it. Alright, so there you got a couple matches. You saw them in action here. As you see... Very slow character, very high damaging, so it's, you, you kind of struggle a lot, but once you get started, once you land those hits, it's very rewarding. Quick recap, as you saw, the most important move for this character is his DP, to get off me. My, my advice, what I was going to say for that guy dc it is that if your DP gets baited, or uh, it gets blocked, or whatever, don't be afraid to use it, you know? You, no one is going to hit 100% of their DPs. You're going to get baited sometimes, don't let that stop you, don't let that, you know, make you afraid. Keep going. Just keep going. Especially if you have the meter, man. RC, do whatever. So yeah, DP on defense. You saw how often I was mashing on, you know, Wyvern here in neutral. Not only is it projectile in but let you get in. 
because his mobility aside from that is, is quite crappy right very slow character slide is the same way learn slide dp this is like his go-to combo part right there off a lot of straight starters you can just end it with whatever just like, okay right 2c slide dp it's very very easy very very basic as i told you the best move though your go-to is this 2da so this is just the down stance down stance into the overhead you can just hold down back here ready right? look at my inputs there look at that almost 4k active flows over 4k that is your go learn that combo it's the first combo you need to learn is right there learn that combo then again this is the mix up right behind in front you saw me mix it up a little bit right there command grab everyone i played today wasn't blocking but if you find people that start blocking command grab is really good tool so yeah his stance is like auto mix up built into it he is scary he does a lot of damage he's pretty fun but personally not for me not for me Again, uh, if, if, if you think he's cool, if you think he's cool, give him a try. You know, if you like big damage, give him a try. But I'm just warning you, you have to be very patient. You you, you have to be very patient because people are going to run away from you because you're so scary. So you have to be able to slowly approach, you know, take your time, be on defense a lot, and just wait for that one moment to strike. Not for me, though. I mean, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know why people like this. It's pick a gorilla. Pick ass. Pick ass. She's better. But yeah, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, if you got any other tips or anything, you know, write them in the comments. Help out your fellow Kaga bros. He's cool. You know, he's cool. I know a lot of people are playing him. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Next character. I don't know who the next character is. I think we're going to decide it right now. But who do you guys want to see on YouTube? You know, I'm going to keep doing a couple more. So leave a comment. Who do you want to see next? Uh, we'll see what's up. Uh, like always, if you're still watching, thank you. Enjoy Blaze Blue, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.